The Vice Chancellor of the Islamic University in Uganda, Professor Islamel Simbo Yegenda, paid a homage to the founder and president of Lasar Foundation, Dr. Mohamed Kari Dikwa. The purpose of the visit is to pave ways for collaboration between the two institutions. Furthermore, Islamic University in Uganda, IUIU, will also look forward to sign an MOU with al Ansar Foundation in areas of academic research, technical aid, virtual and physical seminars, workshops, staff and programs exchange, among others. That we are here. And I want to thank you for really receiving us so quickly. I want to thank uh, Professor Shun uh, who made this happen. The Vice Chancellor of Alansar University, Maidukuri, expressed his enormous happiness for this development and also his zeal to extend a handshake between the two institutions. Then, coming to areas of collaboration, uh, I'm humble with the kind words of uh, Prof. Uh, we have established a number of collaborations with different universities from different parts of the world. In the U.S., we have collaborations with some universities in the U.S., Malaysia, and the U.K. So, inshallah, I'm really happy that you have come today to invite us to go into collaboration. And I assure you, Inshallah, we are going to have a very fruitful collaboration. Not only in areas of exchange, but then we are going to have joint workshops, joint conferences, staff and student exchange, and most importantly, in the area of research. By the grace of God, it's going to be a very good relationship and your names have been written in gold already in the sense that you are the first university that will go into collaboration with Al Ansar University. The president in his speech also explained the vision of Al Ansar Foundation which include the provision of better education, security challenges, empowering women and orphans and so much more. Dr. Muhammad Kiyali Dikwa, the beautiful office, a technocrat, and also for that, Mr. President. We have about 23 programs or so, and we are going to start with about 723 uh, students. And by the grace of God, at the end of the uh, 25 years, not 30 years as your own <laughs> We are going to have our 42 students. 42 students. <laughs> so already the structures are to accommodate the 725 students there. The lecturers were all, you know, already has met with them, discussed with them. And uh, in addition to that, there is what we call some programs that are also being carried out, which may also lead to about, you know, I mentioned of about 2,000 students what we call certificate programs. Yes. Yeah. And then some professional courses, which the university will go to run under the consultants unit of the university. And yeah, just like that. The government uh, has a lot of challenge of the security. You know, security of the nation in most cases, in most advanced countries, is in the hands of the private sector. Government alone cannot provide the security. We must assist the government. And it's in line with that that we collaborate with the government to secure the you know, professional assets for us to operate as uh, private security services. Lastly, to signal his utmost gratitude and appreciation, the founder and president of Al Ansar Foundation presented gift items to the visitors. Corresponding for Al Ansar TV, Hajar Garba.